And the reason we do record these is because um, we make them available on YouTube. On if you go to the Langley Well Center youth event, if you just search for that under YouTube, you'll find all of the virtual events that we've had so that you can watch them later too. Um, or if you have a school you would like to share them with or a grandparent or something like that, mm -hmm. then those are all available. Oh, nice, Eric. That's the way to do it. Hit subscribe. <laughs> Okay, we're going to get started. We might have some latecomers, but that's okay. So I'm going to have everybody introduce themselves. Um, I'm Katie, and I work at the Langley Well Center in Langley. Um, I think I'll go to you next, Jeannie. Hi, I'm Jeannie. I am uh, work with Katie at the Langley Well Center as well. And then next on my screen is Stephanie. Hi, I'm Stephanie, and sometimes I work at the Langley Well Center, and sometimes I'm working behind the scenes with other Orca Network stuff. And then Tiffany. Hi, I'm Tiffany, and I uh, am a programs assistant for the Laneley Whale Center and Work Network. Nice. And then Cindy and her cat. <laughs> Hi, I'm Cindy. I do education programs for Work Network, and this is my cat, very little. He wanted to join the birthday party. <laughs> <laughs> He's welcome to join. We've had lots of pets. We have had ducks, right? And cats we and dogs <laughs> and all kinds of fun things. Um, so today we got a lot of different things going on. Um, we are going to start with a couple of different presentations. We're going to talk about some of the things that Orca Network does. And then we are also going to talk about why we're here today, which is to celebrate not only Orca Network's 20th birthday this year in 2021, but also the birthday of three very special Southern resident Orcas who are turning 20 as well, or already have turned 20. Um, we are going to have just those fun little information things. And we have two activities today. So I hope you have your coloring utensils and your paper and everything ready. If not, you still have time to get those. Um, we will make a birthday card for our three whales where you can draw them a picture or make a pledge to them. And then we will also at the very end be making like a holiday luminary. So. Um, that's where you're going to need those three squares for those three squares of paper. Okay. Um, we are also going to, yeah. Are we going to say? Yeah. <laughs> yes. And we are also going to be playing a Kahoot game, which some of you might already know about Kahoots. Yeah. <laughs> I thought so. <laughs> and Stephanie will be doing that. And she, when that happens, she'll go over the rules and how to play, which some of you probably already know how to play. We've been doing a lot of cahooting, haven't we? <laughs> um, and then I think that might be it. Oh, if you were here in October, you might remember that we had started a fun new game called Find Ollie the Octopus. And you may or may not remember the signal. So we make this signal when we see Ollie and he could be anywhere today. So keep your eyes out for that. <laughs> And that's actually, it's the scuba signal. So if you were scuba diving, that's how you would tell the other scuba divers because you can't talk to each other if you saw an octopus. Um, I think I will have Cindy do our usual poll just so that we can see where everybody's from today. So go ahead and fill out the poll. You'll just, um, there's just four questions I think today. And while you're doing that, um, we also just had Wendy join us and she managed the Langley Well Center for a long time. So we're glad she's here today too. Hello. Oh, nice hat. <laughs> yeah. Do we have everybody yet, Cindy? I can't see it. So not quite yet. Almost. Right. We'll give you a couple more minutes to fill the poll out. And then you can go ahead and share the results. 
I just had a porch serenade by Dana Lyons. Oh, oh, oh yay. All my favorite songs, the granny song, and the, which is really called the Savage Sea. And it was, he sat outside in the cold oh. and, and played. Oh, that's awesome. It's very sweet. And if you guys have ever been to the Welcome the Whales Parade in Langley, he sometimes plays there too. He does a lot of songs about the environment and the orcas and the salmon and. Okay, and some, well, I think we'll oh, go ahead. And he does some kids songs and just a talented guy. All right, I think we have almost everybody. I'm gonna give you maybe another 15 seconds if anybody else wanted to fill it in and then we'll share it. Okay, so here are the results. Looks like most of our people are from Washington State few from Arizona, New Mexico, Colorado, Utah, or Nevada, a few from Canada. And then we have some from the East Coast. For our Washington Staters, um, looks like most of them are from Seattle and then some from Whidbey Island or Tomato Island and Tacoma and other. So go ahead and type that in the chat if you're an other so we can see where you're from. Um, looks like Quite a few of our people, this is their first youth Zoom event. So welcome, thanks for joining us. Yeah. And we also have some who have been here before. So welcome back. And favorite flavor of birthday cake. We had quite a few chocolate, a few vanilla, and a few salmon. <laughs> Yay. That's hilarious, that's awesome. Well, we will send you a salmon cake. Just kidding, we won't do that. <laughs> Eric, somehow I kind of knew that was you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we eat crab awesome. cakes. That's true. That is true. <laughs> it's not like it's out of the question. And we know some, some creatures and people that would love that too, right? <laughs> okay, I am going to, if we're all done there, hand it over to Tiffany. Okay, um, I'm going to share my screen um, with you guys. <laughs> Um, just give me a second. Um, okay, so um, what I'm talking about is what we're celebrating today, and that is what Orca Network is. Um, and so um, Orca Network, it all started um, in 2001. Um, by these two beautiful people, Howie and Susan. Um, and it's a nonprofit, um, as you guys know, probably, and that it was uh, made mainly to raise awareness about whales of the Pacific Northwest and the importance of providing them healthy and safe habitats. Um, and a big part of what started Orca Network um, was since 1995, um, Howie and Susan have been campaigning to bring Lolita, or what we know her as, is Tokite home from the Sea Aquarium in Florida. Um, and so that was a big part of what got Orca Network started and the Whale Sighting Network. Um, and so the point of the Whale Sightings Network was to connect people with whales. And they've been doing that for 20 years. Um, they've been helping with shore-based whale watching, um, helping educate. Um, the community about the whales that we have here in the Salish Sea, the cetaceans we have in the Salish Sea, and helping to track them. Um, a lot of the information that the Whale Sightings Network um, gathers by citizen scientists and people that report where they see whales and who they see and send photos in, they're able to use that information. Um, and for 20 years now, it's made a big difference. Um, having so many people in the community um, who follow Orca Network have one place where they can put all that information um, and share it. And at the end of the year, um, every year we're able to see 
who's been here, how many, um, and how their populations are doing. Um, and we always like to say you can be a whale scientist too. Um, you can be a part of Orca Network's whale sighting network. Um, report whale sightings to Orca Network. Um, tell us where and when you see them and tell us what kind of whale, if you know and how many. And take pictures because we can photo ID them. Um, another big aspect of Orca Network is the Central Puget Sound Marine Mammal Stranding Network. And that's kind of where my heart started with Orca Network. Um, I volunteer with the Stranding Network. Um, and it's important, just as important um, for the whales as the whale sightings or any other program um, because we have the transient orcas here in the Salish Sea who, what do they eat? They eat the pinnipeds and the, so they eat the harbor porpoises and the elephant seals and the harbor seals. Um, and so when live or um, dead, uh, us, um, harbor seals or porpoises wash up, we're able to do necropsies um, on them and know the health of them. And that information is important for the health of the whales. Um, but the Central Puget Sound Marine Mammal Stranding Network, it also helps to protect um, the, or the pinnipeds that you see on the screen. Um, it, we uh, educate the community about different regulations and the rules. Um, we have a number that people can call and report if they think that they're entangled or endangered. Um, and that information, then we can let people know, you know, hey, the mom left the pup on the beach and it's okay. She's just going to get it food or going to get food and she'll come back and she'll nurse it. Um, so that's a really important part of the stranding network. Um, we have, we have uh, California sea lions here, stellar sea lions, harbor seals, um, elephant seals. We have many species here that the stranding network helps to protect. Um, for instance, we had Mr. L. Wood, who was born this March on Whidbey Island, who got um, stuck in a storm drain. And the Orca Network's uh, Central Puget Sound Marine Mammal Stranding Network was um, just part of many people who responded and were able to help save El Wood. Um, as you see in this picture, um, he's in the back of a pickup and they're able to have a veterinarian look at him, make sure he was okay, and then send him back out home to see. Um, this is one of my favorites. I'm gonna share a video really quick. Um, and as you can see, she kind of blends in. Her name's Elsie May um, and she's kind of a favorite around here. Um, and the Marine Mammal Stranding Network, we help make sure people stay away from her. We set up cones, educate people on the beach, let them know that she's there. Um, she blends in, you'll see in this video. And so a lot of people, they, they miss her and they almost walk into her. So it's really important that somebody's there to make sure that she's okay um, and to keep her safe. Because um, elephant seals, there's a long time we didn't see them here. And we wanna make sure that they continue to do well and their populations continue to improve. So this was uh, while I was watching Elsie May one day and it shows, she, it takes her a little bit, but she gets over all those obstacles. Um, and you can see she, <laughs> by the end of it, she's pretty worn out because um, she was molting at this time. So she was already trying to save energy. Um, but you'll see cones set up. Uh, we have signs set up um, for the Stranding Network, and we let people know who she is and why it's important to keep your distance um, and why it's important to keep her safe. And you can hear her at the end, she kind of lets out a grunt because she's really tired. <laughs> Um, and so you can also be a part of the Stranding Network. You can help protect wildlife. Um, report if you see them, keep your distance. Um, if you see, uh, let's just say a harbor seal pop on the beach, let people know that, um, that they're, they're okay. Their mom probably just left them and she'll come back and to keep the space. You can also call and report. Um, and when you report to the Stranding Network, they're able to go out, send people out to make sure the situation's okay and help protect them. Another part of Orca Network is the Lanely Whale Center. And I'm not sure if any of you guys have ever been in, but it's a great place. Uh, Katie earlier said um, in a group conversation we were having about how it's kind of where all of Orca Network comes together. And that's very true because 
you have like in this picture pieces of the um, marine mammal stranding network um, that they've collected throughout the years. Um, well, this picture here, Maxine, she's um, one of the one, the harbor porpoise, uh, the marine mammal stranding network collected. Um, it's a great place where you can go. You can, there's a kid's room, um, lots of interactive exhibits, whale sightings, tons of information about all the animals of the Salish Sea, the cetaceans of the Salish Sea. Um, and that's important because when people come in, um, it just brings awareness to what Orca Network is trying to do. And it educates people about all of our different programs and how they can be involved. Um, it also is a place where we, we hold events. You know, we're a community, we're a family. So we have art projects. Um, I'm not sure if anybody's been able to go see uh, Jeannie. She did a beautiful Christmas uh, art display um, in the window and with whales. And it's absolutely beautiful, but it's just, it's, it's a community, just like how the whales are a pod in a family. Um, the Langley Whale Center, it's a family. It's a pod of people who are just trying to do what I think you guys all love too, which is protect the, the cetaceans and protect the orcas and all the, the animals that we love. Um, Orca Network, it, we have parades, we participate in different festivals, webinars and events, um, advocacy meetings. Um, you see here, this is Howie. He's one of the founders of Orca Network. Um, he's been doing this for 20 years and that's just getting the word out, um, getting, getting information out there. And that's really important because when the information's out there, people start to care and they start to pay attention. Um, so when we celebrate Orca Network, we're celebrating a family, we're celebrating protecting marine mammals, we're celebrating um, a sighting network where people are able to experience whales um, and they're able to have their dream come true of seeing them. And we're able to collect research and information about all the different species to help protect them. Um, we have in the bottom left corner, it's a volunteer training. We have volunteers. Um, it's a place where people can get involved and be part of protecting the Salish Sea. Um, and the most important part, uh, out of all of it is you guys, it's the youth team. When we educate you guys, you're our future. Um, and so someday you guys can be the ones volunteering with the Stranding Network. You can be the ones um, helping with the whale sightings. You can be part of Orca Network um, just by going to, just go to the website, see how you can volunteer when you're older, see how your parents can help with, as far as the Stranding Network, call and report sightings. There's lots of ways you can be involved. And the more that you guys attend these classes, the more education, someday you guys will be the faces of Orca Network. So um, that's all that I have for you guys and happy birthday to Orca Network and happy holidays, everyone. Thank you, Tiffany. All right, and I think we'll go right into, Cindy's gonna talk about our 20 year old whales. All right. So yes, as Katie mentioned earlier, we do have three whales who turned 20 this year in addition to Orca Network. So how fun that we have three orcas who are sharing our birthday. So I'm just going to talk for just a minute about these three whales and then we have a cute little video to show you about their birthdays. So our three birthday whales we have one, we have two from K-Pod. Uh, one of them is K33. And for those of you who have been on our youth programs before, you probably know that that means that that orca is from K-Pod and was the 33rd orca who was either born or identified in K-Pod since they started studying them in the 1970s. And this whale's other name is Tika. So they get these names from the Whale Museum. And Tika is actually a Native American word uh, that means swift. The other K-Pod whale. Is Kali, uh, K-34. So the 34th orca born into K-Pod uh, name is Kali. And that is a Native American word that means heart. And then the third birthday whale is J37 or Heishka. And Heishka is, has a kind of a really cool background to her name because her mother, her mother's name was Samish. 
And we actually have a Native American tribe over here in Anacortes called the Samish Nation. And so they actually started naming babies born to that family uh, because of the whale named Samish. And so Heishka was the first one that they named from that family and her name means thank you or blessing. So that's kind of a really special name for a special whale. So these are our three birthday whales turning 20. And I am going to stop sharing and then let Stephanie show this wonderful little video that we put together to celebrate their birthdays. That was a super fun video. <laughs> All right. Well, now we have Jeannie is going to join us and talk about the birthday card activity. So this is the time to pull out that template that has 20th birthday on it. Yeah, Jeannie, can you show them? That's what we're doing now. And anything you were going to decorate it with. So this I'll is let you pick up. a Okay. Yeah, this is just an idea of um, a way we could celebrate these wonderful whales. I put their names across the top and some kind of little wavy action over here. And of course, we have to have 20th happy birthday. So this area is for you. So you might want to use, like I have markers, you might want to use markers, a bunch of colored pencils, whatever you want to celebrate these whales. So um, I think what we would do is I'll work for maybe five minutes or so, maybe 10. What do you think, Katie? Yeah, five or yeah. 10 minutes. Yeah, okay, five or 10 minutes. And let's see what you come up to honor these whales. And I love the fact that you might want to use their, um, even though they have their name, what their names mean. Maybe that came to you. One was thank you. I mean, we're all thankful that we have these beautiful Southern residents that are um, blessing us with their, they're actually down in the South Sound right now. So everybody's pretty excited about that, that lives here. But their names, Swift or Heart, maybe some of that might appeal to you. So just have fun with it in any way that you think can celebrate these three whales. Let's see what we can all come up. I'm going to come up with something and everybody else is too. So let's see what we can do. So let's come circle back. If you have something you want to say, go ahead. This is a good time. We're all just going to be working now. Okay. All right. I'm getting my pen ready here. Let's see what I can do. Okay. This is also a time if you had a question to ask too, you could do that now. Yep, perfectly good time to ask a question. You can go over things, you can, I know you guys are gonna have some amazing ideas. I can't wait to see what you're doing. Because I know a lot of you in this group are very creative. Just have fun with it.
here. Oh, I see some already. Lillian, Clara, and Willa, what do, what do you got going there? Do you want to unmute and tell us? I painted this. That's beautiful. Is that, which one is that? Is Did you specifically pick one of the birthday whales? No. Just, just you just want, it's beautiful. Good job. That's fantastic. Did you do that with watercolors? That's very, very nice. Cool. That's a very nice, that's a very, very nice. Okay, let's see. One thing I was going to share, if anybody was interested in making a pledge to them for their birthday card, here are some ways you can help. This is just a small sample. I'm sure you have other ideas too, but this is, these are ways that you could help the Southern resident orca population. We'll leave that up just for just a little bit. Thank you, Katie. Yeah, it's great. We can all do one little thing. We can make a big difference. Maybe it's just picking up trash, not throwing trash on the beach, making sure you're trying to use less um, plastics, use more reusables. Simple thing like maybe when you are at school, maybe you take your own water bottle instead of getting a plastic bottle every time. And I'm sure some of you already do that. So all these things that can be very, very helpful to the future. Survival of the, of our orca, which we love so much. And one thing maybe that we don't think of affecting the orcas as much, but it definitely does. And also it's kind of gross is um, that if you don't pick up your animal's poop or their droppings, that gets into the water and pollutes them. So that's something you can do every day when you take your pets outside is to clean up after them. Yep.
How's everybody doing? Everybody having fun with this? Just seeing, let your let your imagination kind of go, see it, follow your dream there, or what you want to do to honor these whales. I'm just kind of drawing whatever comes to my mind. I'm not coming. I'm not going with this with a a, a d exact direction. And I'll show you what I did. I'm not. Uh, it's just the practice of doing it and honoring them because we are really honoring these these whales by just taking the time to learn about their names and look at this piece of paper and remember, you know, those, those whales just turned 20. That's pretty remarkable if you think about it. This is fun. Good. Oh, good. I'm glad you're enjoying it. We like sharing these things with you. We're glad you're here today. Some blue here, make this look like. I know you could spend a lot of time on this, and you can always, what you could also do too is, you know, we're doing one right now, but if you really enjoyed it, you could also um, print out another one and you can do another one at, another, at a later time when you have more time, maybe some new idea comes to your mind. So, um, that's the nice thing about having these things available online. You can just print out another one. Share it with your friends. Maybe get your moms and dads to do one with you. I really didn't. I wasn't watching the time, so I probably I wasn't paying attention. I'm over here coloring, so sorry. That's what happens when you start to art, right? I know. I know. So one one important thing that I forgot to say at the beginning is we do have party favors for you. Some of you already got them because you were registered in the November event that got postponed because none of us had power here on Woodby Island. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but if you would like a party favor, it is a, an actual favor that we would like to mail to you. Have your mom or dad or adult in the house email me your address. Um, so my email is just katie, K-A-T-I-E at orchidnetwork.org. Okay, I'm almost done, I think. Although Does anybody want to share theirs? One more. Does anybody done and want to share yet? Or are you still working? I got one more thing I want to put in here and then I'll share mine. Oh, let's see. All right. One more on. time. Who? Is that Willa? Oh, wow. Oh, very cool. Wow. You've got a lot of color in there. Yeah. There's a lot going on in there. I'd like to know a little bit more about that if you if you want to share. Oh, and Avery and Shay. Nice. Oh, that's great, guys. Those are beautiful. Oh. Well, they're working really hard on these. Yeah, they are. That's, that's great. Awesome. Oh, oh, look at cool. Nice. I think some refrigerators are going to have some special art on them tonight. <laughs> it's Orca. Yeah. I love them. Yes. Aww. We do too. Oh, those are great. Anybody else want to share? I just did Orca because that was the thing I could think about. <laughs> oh, that's, that's pretty, Katie. I like it. Awesome. I did kind of a mismatch. I got all up in the hearts. I really like the hearts. So I just did a little put little hearts what whoops oh. I put hearts in my 20 i got a little heart he, heart here with hearts inside of it and it's just some little representations of quick little sketches of whales so that was fun for me. and i i added some coloring to the edges but i really like that was fun. nice you've got orcas in action i got orcas in action there we go <laughs> i'm diving swimming yeah <laughs> Oh, and Brian, we we all love your background. <laughs> I didn't I didn't want to let that go without mentioning that your virtual background. <laughs> was that? Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was taking a minute. That what is that? Oh okay, <laughs> they're just adorable. Yeah, that was at Ana Nuevo Reserve. I took that. Oh, that's awesome. Cleaners on the beach. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
that's quite an experience. I've I've done that several times in there. It's amazing. It's amazing. I'm really happy that uh, Ellie's here now. So that's kind of cool. Mm-hmm. Yes. So I just uh, I have I've been a member I think for a while. I just wanted to like start going to activities and doing stuff and maybe volunteer. So I. I signed up for the birthday party, and it wasn't until I got here that I realized it was for kids. But here I am. That's okay. <laughs> well, I don't have the drawing yeah. thing, but I wore a shirt. Um, I don't know if you can see it. It's two orca whales. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, my friend Odin Lawning, uh, he did a form line to tie two, two orcas. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. And, and well, I, made a, go. I made a 3D orca, too. So. Wow. Very cool. That's awesome. With your virtual background, it like goes in and out like waves. Yeah. <laughs> well, and there was a 20th birthday party uh, for ARCA Network in November. Is that available on YouTube? It should be. Yeah. If it's not, we'll put it up. <laughs> well, I'm we sure it a is. Lot of, yeah. A lot of events that uh, you yeah. can go back on YouTube and see. Yeah, I'll put a link to that in the chat because others might want to watch it too. There's yeah. some fun stuff. If I did want to get involved with volunteering, who would I contact? Any of you guys or? Yeah. Ryan, I just direct messaged you on the chat. So if you send me an email, oh. I will send you the app volunteer application packet. Okay, cool. Thank you. Stephanie's on it. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> we heard volunteer and we're like. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you get away. Don't worry. Any more artists that would love to share, would love to see anybody else have anything they would like to share? Don't have to, but it, we'd love to see it if you feel comfortable. We'd love to see what you did. There's one. Oh, beautiful. Oh, That's beautiful. nice. Oh, I love it. You Is have it? three orcas. Oh, very yeah. nice. There's a salmon cake in the middle. I see that. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> That's so good. That's who would like a salmon cake. There we go. There Them we go. and Eric. <laughs> uh, very good. Love it. Well, that's great. I think that probably, unless anybody has more they want to share, we probably. Well, and we can share later too. If yeah. some are still working, we could. Are you guys ready to take a minute break and go to the Kahoot? Yes. Okay. I was mostly looking at Lily and Claire and Mala because you guys are so busy. <laughs> yeah. You're always busy. Yeah. Okay. All right. We got a thumbs up. Okay. okay. It's all you, Stephanie. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen so that you can see this should. Has everybody seen the Kahoot pin? Mm -hmm. The pin. So if you've never done a Kahoot before, what you want to do is go to kahoot.it in your browser. You can do it on a phone, you can do it on a tablet, you can do it on a computer. And then you're going to enter that number that you see, the game pin number at the top of the screen. And it's going to ask you to pick a name. So you can choose a name uh, that you're going to be known by and everybody's going to see that name. And when you answer a question, it's going to say that that, that name answered the question. So choose your name carefully. <laughs> so, oh, there's orcas. That's the that's the easy one. <laughs> and then what will happen when everybody's joined? We will start the quiz, and you'll get a question, and then you'll have a chance to answer it from your device. Um, and this is just for fun. We're not gonna award prizes for whoever gets it right. And we'll talk about what the right answer is at the end of each question so that if you didn't know the answer, you'll learn a little something. And if you did know the answer, that's great. Um, if you have been to some of our Zoom events before, that might give you some hints about the answers, but if not, just take your best guess. Oh, Ruffles. <laughs> Everyone's favorite oh, yeah. orca. So Eric's having trouble. Maybe not. Yeah. Eric, did you go to um, kahoot.it? And then the game pin is 937-3415. Mm -hmm. 
I'll let, I don't know how to troubleshoot Kahoot, Stephanie, so I'll let you. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm, I just had to pull up the, the chat. Um, his name's up plugged there. in now. Try backing out and going back in again, Eric, if it didn't work. He's in the game, yeah. Okay, great. There you Thank are, you. I see. And if you have more than one person joining you for this, then you know you might have to have a little huddle about what the answer is before you choose your answer. Mm -hmm. Or you can take turns who gets to answer which question. What's that, Eric? Yeah. <laughs> What's its name? <laughs> That's great. I'm just going to step out of the screen camera for a minute here while I make an adjustment to the screen I'm watching this on so I can see what's happening. Here we are. Okay, anyone else having trouble getting in? I think there should be a couple more people if everybody's joining us. Or if you're just gonna play along at home without doing it, that's fine. Without logging in, that's fine too. You can keep scoring a piece of scratch paper or something. So I think we'll go ahead and get started. Welcome to the Orca Network 20th birthday trivia game. Some of these questions are multiple choice quiz and some of them are true or false. So the first question, how do salmon find their way back to the stream where they were born? With a map, that's the red choice. With their sense of smell, that's the blue choice. They ask other animals for directions, that's the yellow choice, or by looking at the stars at night so that they know where they are. That's the green choice. All right. Oh, very nice. People knew that one for sure. Very good. They find the direction. They find their direction with the sense of smell. They can smell their way back to the stream that they were born in. Congratulations, Ruffles, leading the pack. All right. Next question. True or false? Baby sea otters are called pufflings. Is it true blue or red false? All right, and the answer is false. Does anyone know what a puffling is a baby of? Who wants to unmute and say, what is a puffling? Um, a baby puffin. That's right, a baby puffin is a puffling. But baby sea otters also look very puffy with all their, their fur. So it's an honest mistake if you didn't know that. Okay, next question. Oh, wait, sisters have moved to the front now. Congratulations, sisters. All right, what's the name of the dog who helps researchers find whale poop? Is it Scout in red, Tucker in blue, Eba in yellow, or Eno in green? If you don't know about this dog and you're just guessing on the name, this is a dog that can smell when orcas leave their droppings behind and help researchers find the droppings so that they can study them. And we learn so much from that. It's a really, really cool research program. And yes, the correct answer is Eba. However, there was a dog named Tucker before. That was the, the previous whale dog. Uh, and Scout's just a great name for a dog. So good guess there. Okay. Orcas is in the lead now. Nice work. Okay, moving on. What marine animal has three hearts and nine brains? 
Is it an octopus red, a wolf eel blue, a hermit crab yellow, or a nudibranch or sea slug green? Very good, it was an octopus, yes. Three hearts and nine brains. One of, maybe one of the smartest creatures in the sea. Very good. Orcus is still in the lead, nice work. True or false, orcas in the Salish Sea only eat salmon. Is that true blue or red false? Ooh, some people say true and some people say false. Remember, we have two different kinds of orcas that come into the Salish Sea, and some of them eat almost nothing but salmon. Those are the southern residents, the really endangered ones. And some of them eat other things like seals and porpoises. Those are the ones that we call bigs or transient orcas. So it's not just salmon, but a lot of the things that the mammal eating killer whales eat also eat salmon. So the salmon are still really, really important. Okay, Orcus is still burning it up there. Moving on to a different species. What do the Sounders gray whales eat when they are visiting the Salish Sea? Do they eat phantom squid for red, ghost shrimp blue, candlefish yellow, or glass eels green? Oh, this one's a hard one. And uh, the answer is ghost shrimp. So the gray whales are unique in that they are baleen whales, meaning they don't have teeth. They are filter feeders, but they feed on the bottom. They actually scoop up these mouthfuls of sand and mud and squeeze out the sand and catch ghost shrimp that live burrowing in the sand. And that's how they eat. So that's not a way that other whales eat. So it's kind of a, a special thing that they do. And when they come here into the Salish Sea, they're coming to the place between Woodby Island and Everett, where there are lots of ghost shrimp living. So that's why those same whales come back year after year. They kind of take a little rest stop as they're traveling north on their migration from Baja to the Arctic Seas to, um, to stop and, and get some food, kind of like a big lunch break on their way back to Alaska. All right. True or false? You can tell adult male and female orcas apart by looking at their dorsal fins. Is that true, blue, or is that red, false? It is true. That's right. So what's the difference between a male's dorsal fin and a female's dorsal fin? Theo says in the chat, taller for the males. That's right, an adult male dorsal fin can have a really tall fin up to five or six feet tall. But the females, usually around two or three feet tall. Great. Okay, Orcus is killing it out there. All right. What animal can help minke whales find food? Okay, the minke whales are another kind of baleen whale here. Is it a hermit crab that helps them find food for red? Sea otters, blue, octopus, yellow, or birds, green. What animal helps them find their food? Nice work. The answer is birds, right? So when you see those big groups of birds, especially seagulls that are all clumped together on the water, I like to call them bird parties. So if you see a bird party, then that means there could be a minke party happening too. They might be coming to, um, to feed on the fish that those birds are also gathering to feed on. Okay, which of these is a family of the southern resident orca population? Is it Z-pod red, K-pod blue, I-pod yellow, or D-pod green? That's right, K-pod, you folks know your whales. Nice work. And it's still orcas there. Okay, last question. 
what can you do to help the orcas? Can you pick up litter, red? Avoid using poisonous products at home and in your garden, blue? Walk, bike, or bus whenever possible for yellow or all of the above for green. That's right, all of the above will help the orcas. Nice work and thank you everyone for your participation. Here we go, our results are Eric in third place, Sisters in second place, and Orcas is our first place trivia person. So congratulations, thanks for playing. And I'm going to turn it back over to Jeannie now for our next craft hey, project. Hey, Stephanie, can I ask you a question? Sure. Was question right, and it showed 652. And then there was a bunch of other ones. I got like the nine hearts and, and some of these other ones. And my score never changed. It stayed 652 the whole game. It was kind of weird. Huh, that's kind of weird. Yeah, I don't know why. Uh -oh. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> it's okay. All right. <laughs> Kids would say it was a glitch. Yeah. <laughs> I think, yeah, some sort of. <laughs> so it's a glitch. All right. Well, I have one more little fun, kind of fun activity that you can make work in a lot of ways. So let me show you one um, that I did. It's this little, I'm going to see if I can turn this light off. I, I'm going to do some effect here. Hold on just a minute. Yeah. So here's this little paper, with this little light in there. Okay. So it looks kind of like a little triangle. I'll turn the light on now, but what we're gonna make is a little, you can do decorate these in any way that you want. Very simply done. It sits, it'll sit by itself. You can decorate it. You can put a luminary. You can put a little, one of these is just one of those little battery candles you can put up in it. So the way we're gonna do it is everybody needs to have three. I have three little square pieces of paper. They can be anything you want, can be any color you want. You could use pre-decorated ones. You could decorate it later. So for the sake of um, ease, I'm just gonna use plain ones for now, okay? So everybody got, pay, you got these. You're also gonna need some glue of some sort. I have a glue stick. You might have one of these um, type of tapes that you just roll on. Uh, you might have um, double-sided tape. Whatever you have, we do need some sort of um, adhering material, okay? So everybody got that? Has everybody got everything? All right, first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your piece of paper and you're going to take two corners and you're going to bring them together. You're going to fold it. So you're going to match opposite corner. So we're going to have a triangle. You're going to fold it into like a triangle is what this is going to be. So you're going to take your time to make it pretty. doesn't have to be exactly perfect but it needs to be pretty 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 good so here again we went from a square and i took corners opposite corners together and just made a little triangle we're going to do that down and then i'm going to take my fingernail and i'm going to go like that make it nice and sharp okay yeah there you go i see everybody's doing it so all of your squares we're going to do that with every single one of them so we're going to get some practice today so i'm going to come take my square Gonna bring opposite corners together. Gonna hold it carefully, position it, and kind of holding it right there, then I can just go along, just easily along the bottom, squish the paper, and then yeah, do the final fold. So you got this nice little, nice little fold. Okay, I got two done. How's everybody else? I see some, so it looks like everybody's doing okay. Same thing. I'm going to take opposite corners. Doesn't matter which one it is. Here, I'll do this one. Oh, no, I'm going to do this one. Doesn't matter. Put your corners together. It's just easy to just kind of hold that little corner and then you can you can put your fold, your, make your fold pretty easily. And you can do it on your desk. You don't have to hold it. I'm holding it up so you can see it. It's probably a little easier if you have it down, but then you can't see. All right. So now we have this is what, yep, there they are. I see them. Good job there, girls. Lilla, Lillian, Clara, and Willa, I see yours. Okay, I, some people I don't see, but I do see yours. So everybody's got this. Everybody good? Do I need to wait for anybody to catch up? Good, all right. Take two of them. Let me just show you what's going to happen here. So we're going to put two together like this. Did you see what I just did? I have my folds facing me and I'm just gonna stick them together like that. 
it's open on this end, it's together on that and see what it does, it crosses. Trying to make this as easy as possible. Do you see how that looks? Did everybody get there? Yep, I see them pointies. Put your pointies together and then push it into the folds. Yep, that's where you're gonna glue it. So then you get your glue. So get, a, get your glue, I'm gonna get my glue right now. Yep, that's right, Eric, that looks right. So then you take some glue and I'm gonna put just a little bit up here in the, in the, oops, oh, my glue just broke. Okay, <laughs> technical difficulty. I'm just gonna put some glue on there, up, not, the, not all the way down because that part gets exposed. So don't put it all the way down. Then I'm gonna stick that piece of paper right there. Glue. It's glued, okay? Put it in a couple different directions so you can see it. There's how it crosses. It's fold the fold. Everybody got that okay? Does that make sense? I think that looks Can you right. do it one more time? Yep. Okay. So you got your two pieces of paper, right? These are the folds. I'm going to put one inside the other like that. Is that better? Can you see it that way better? One inside, just like that. Okay. Did that look, is that a little easier? I know it's hard to see in this position, but do you see what I just did? So here's, if you have two little, look like little wings, you put them in there together, it will go right up into that fold and it, it should line up with the outside. So it makes like a tall, skinny, like a tree shape, see? This is one piece of paper, the other piece of paper is under. I think, yeah, that looks right. I see the pink one, that looks right. That blue one looks right too. How's everybody else doing? Once you get through this part, the, the next part's super easy. That's the only kind of, once you get that, okay, then you put your third one, if you hold it, you just stick it right on there. So now we have, we have three together. Okay. So you're gonna glue that one onto the two that you just made. So technically, if I didn't have that third one, it would look, it looks triangular already, right? Except we, we need to get this other leg. So if you add this one here, oops, sorry. If you hold this one here, it looks like this from each, each, each side. See how it crosses each one. How's everybody doing with that? That's a little tricky, but you can do it. It's just three little pieces of paper. Anybody need help? So glue that on. When you get that one, if you glue that one on, let me glue this and I'll come right up to you there. Add some more glue. Okay, so I added glue. I'm just gonna stick that one on there and that one on there. And now I've got a, I've got a three-dimensional little, it could look like a tree-ish, but it's, there it is. I think I, let me see that. I think you got it there. Pink one? Yeah, okay. Yeah, Tiffany, you've got it. That's right. Anybody else? How you, how you kids doing? Did it work? We do another, yep, yeah, that's right. The yellow one's right, that's right. Now you can show your sisters. <laughs> you got it. How's everybody else? I can't see anybody else. So Eric, did you, you doing okay down there, bud? I see you working. <laughs> what is that? Is that, is that your beetle? beetle? Did you make a microscopic one or is that your beetle? <laughs> okay. The bug. <laughs> there we go. Okay, I see it, Theo. That's right. I saw that one. Okay, so everybody got one. So the point is, you know, you might need to once you get it together. You like sometimes you need to take a little bit, like where it's coming up on the end. You might add a little glue. Yeah, that yellow ones are right. I see it. Just make sure it's glued, and then you can just start decorating. Like here's one I did with when I just glued a bunch of stuff on it from the flyer. Remember your your flyer for the event. There's a there's the gray whale. There's a there's an orca, there's a snowflake. You could take, you could draw on them. I drew on this one. They're just really fun and you can make them in different sizes. I, I punched a hole in this one with a hole puncher. Maybe some of you might have that in your craft supplies so that when you put 
your little candle in it, it shows. Okay. I'm just going to show you a bunch of examples. Here's one I did I, from some other things. I hung it on a little string and I put some red paper with it. So you can make little ornaments. Yep. Oh, what's that hole punch? Is that a is that got a um a, a pattern in it or just holes? Oh, no fighting. <laughs> is it just a round one or is it got stars or this one has stars in it? See, I put little stars. If you have a punch, so then when you put the little light in there, it's kind of hard to see, but there we go. Shines in. But the fun thing about these is you can make a whole bunch of them, hang them on your tree, give them to your friends. There's little ones. Check out this gigantic one I made. It's almost as big as my head. <laughs> so whatever square you want to do, you can do this. And make some little luminaries. Make sure you use only a battery candle, kids. Okay. No real candles in these. Use these are little. See, they're you get them at the dollar store. Little little battery ones. Okay. Because then you keep your house safe. Oh, that looks good. I see, I see, I see some. Any questions for what you can do with these? You need it. Anybody needs help? I'm here to help. Did you get it? Did it work for you? Okay. And if we want to add a string like I did on this one, you can just you can just add a string through the middle. It's really easy to do. Just added a little string to this one. Okay. Hey. Unless there's any questions, I, I, that's pretty much the little craft for this. But you can see where you can do like maybe you want to maybe you want to put one of each of the three birthday orcas. Maybe you want to write their names on each side. There's three sides to this, so that might be a fun thing to do. You might just draw circles or stars. You could put stickers on it. If you have, like a lot of you kids like to collect stickers, you could put stickers. If you had a paper, like a page from a calendar that you really liked, you could, you could use that to make one of these. So it's unlimited. You can do all kinds of things, whatever your imagination could think of, you can make something out of this. Let's see if there's anything in the chat I need to know about. This is, Oh yeah. Okay. Gotcha. All righty. I think that's all I have then. If there's no questions. Well, I saw, I saw a few. <laughs> yeah. These are awesome guys. They're good. Oh, there we so, go. Good job. Nice. I like the punching. That'll look cool yeah. when you put your little battery, when you put your little, your little flame, your little candle, your little battery candle, and it'll look really cool. You turn the lights off. Good job, girl. Yeah. Those are good. Everybody got it. Sweet. One thing that we did last year that I didn't think to do this year, but I know some of you are regulars. I think some of you have been to every event we've had in 2021. If you have any ideas of species or marine, just marine mammal information that you would like to learn about in 2022, please let us know. You can put it in the chat or you can unmute yourself. Last year, um, the kids picked Arctic animals, so which was something we wouldn't have thought of, um, yeah. which ended up being pretty cool because we learned about belugas and then we had a beluga in the sound. So you never know what we need to learn about. Um, so if you have any ideas for this year, please let us know. And don't forget to send your address to Katie so we mm -hmm. can send you a little envelope full of goodies. Trust me, you're going to want it. Yes. And thank you guys for coming. <laughs> yeah. Hope you had a good time. Also hats. Who knew? Yeah. <laughs> oh, there you go. Yeah, it could be a hat. That's what I said. This <laughs> Take my orca hat off. It's big enough to be a hat. There we go. Oh yeah. See, you can make big ones, and you got a you got a ready to go party hat. There you go. Oh That's yeah, right. he's got hers. Maybe they Good were idea. birthday hats. See what the imagination. Uh, what you're only limited by your own imagination. So maybe they're narwhal horns, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could, you could. <laughs> it's just fun to have something to do with a piece of paper, a few pieces of paper, and you can have a lot of fun.
Yes. I'm sure you guys are going to be making these. Your parents are going to have, get these papers. They're going to be all over the house. <laughs> <laughs> Hanging in all the windows. Oh, hi, Tim. I oh, like yeah, it. Really Good job. Awesome. Thank you. You're, You're welcome. very welcome. Thanks for coming. Good job. We oh, just at... wanted to show you it. They look great. Thanks for showing. Oh boy, look, there's like a little, it looks like a little winter wonderland down there. It does. That's uh, so cute. And oh, nice drawing, that's Eric. Hard. Oh, that's really good. Yeah. Very nice. You got a lot of detail in there. You're good. You're a good drawer. That's very good. Oh, there's another one. Ooh. Oh, there we go. Ooh, yep. Multicolored. I like oh, that. Oh, I love it. Nice job, good, Dio. Good job, everyone. That makes me, I'm, I'm happy that you got it. That's, it's always hard to tell. So good. <laughs> anybody have anything else they want to say or any questions so and your last chance to request an event for next year yeah <laughs> good good job guys well thank you so much for joining us for this birthday party slash holiday celebration and i guess the next time we'll see you guys it'll be 2022 Yes. Gosh. Thanks for coming, everybody. Have a great Thank holiday you. season. Happy Bye, birthday. everybody. Thank <laughs> you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs>